Hi. So here we are uh, with electronic speed controls. Uh, as you know, I've done a lot of modifications to these speed controls, such as making the power wires a lot longer. Uh, and in order to prevent inductance, we've added a uh, capacitor in line. Uh, the capacitor is, is a, uh, it's a 50 volt, uh, 200, 220 microfarad capacitor. And what I'm also doing and have done uh, to several of the ESCs now is to use longer uh, servo wires or longer control wires. Um, that's because the ESCs are going to be at the end of the booms under the motors and then these wires have to go all the way back to the flight control board. Um, so that gives us lots of advantages because that keeps our wires that are going from the electronic speed control to the motor short which uh, gives us good fast precise uh, uh, movement of, of the motor to make the vehicle very stable. Um, so uh, there's, there's another reason for this too. Uh, I like to take apart a lot of these things uh, before I put them in. I get them from the manufacturer and there's always a chance that something is not necessarily up to snuff and so I make a point of testing these things and checking them apart and, and, and kind of take, take, sorry I should say, taking them apart and uh, testing them to see what's going on and see if there's anything wrong. Um, for example, um, some of the ESCs or the electronic speed controls had uh, short uh, wires and some of them had long wires, um, the control wires. Um, that, that's pretty sloppy in my opinion to not have all, all the same. Uh, the distributor of, of these was uh, Foxtech FPV, um, not real impressed. Uh, with that. Uh, the other issue too, um, again, by taking the heat shrink off of the electronic speed control and checking it out, you can look for other problems. Uh, for example, the heat sink on one of the electronic speed controls um, was, um, w w was actually very, very dirty um, on the heat transfer material. Uh, this is heat transfer material and so therefore it didn't stick to the FETs on the electronic speed control very well which also means that it's not going to transfer heat away from the FETs as easily. Uh, this, this electronic speed control might have actually been used and uh, it seems like uh, Foxtech FPV just uh, tried to resell it in their own way. Um, so again, my point is when you're building these things, um, take the time to rip things apart uh, look at the way that way they've been put together by the manufacturer and also look for any mistakes or, or, uh, or any um, uh, errors that could be there. In this case the mistakes were that wires were two different lengths. Um, the, um, the heat sink uh, was used so therefore the electronic speed control was probably used. I I tested them all and they are all working but I'm also just making sure that all the solder joints are good and all the solder joints are strong and that the heat sinks are where they're supposed to be and that there's uh, no chance of there being um, a short uh, from, from one piece of electronic to the next and vice versa. I mean, the, 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 These are all things that uh, you really uh, should be very mindful of because you are putting this thing way up in the air and you're putting expensive equipment on it and uh, you're also carrying several pounds of weight in the air as well. Um, and uh, what goes up does come down. And so that's the, those are things that you need to be mindful of. Um, so how do you do this? How do you make these wires longer? Well. You can buy servo extenders. Um, they're a little bit expensive. You're looking at anywhere from eight to twelve dollars for a, for each servo ex servo extender. And if you're bought and if and if you're building a hexacopter, well, then that's six. And if you're building an octocopter, then that's eight. So you can see how, how the price can add up a lot. 
can can add up very quickly rather. So uh, what I've done is I've just bought uh, 14 feet of this stuff and uh, I'm using uh, 28 inches uh, per electronic speed control and I actually desoldered the old leads uh, and soldered on my own. But now I have to build the plugs. And this is actually very, very easy. This is very simple and very easy. You just have to do it correctly. If you don't have uh, servo connector crimpers, then don't do it. Don't use pliers, don't use a shortcut, something of that sort. I know a lot of guys do use pliers. Uh, and my advice to you is don't. Uh, because you will not get a very good crimp. These things are designed to crimp those connectors onto the wires so that there's very little chance of there being a short um, or very little chance of it coming unplugged. Uh, these things can't come unplugged uh, when you're flying. Nothing can come unplugged when you're flying you need to check and recheck everything and that's why everything is ripped apart before it's built everything is checked over and everything is looked over to make sure that there's no defects deviations or problems